hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again and wish you all a very happy new year so in today's video i'm going to show you one simple technique that is called one stroke technique to paint endless design you can paint varieties of leaves you can paint varieties of flowers using these technique and this is very simple you just need practice around it I'm going to use only one brush that is size 9 round brush. You can use little smaller and little bigger based on your need or what is available with you. But the process and technique is totally simple and same. So as we know we have one pointed end in our brush. So without applying any pressure try to create a thin lines like this. So right now I'm not applying any pressure and that's why I'm able to create all these lines. Now apply little pressure using only tip of your brush and create little thicker line like this. And then I'm applying more pressure to get more thicker line. So based on your pressure into your brush, you will get thicker and thicker line. So this is the first step to learn one stroke technique. So in the last, I am applying all the pressure that I can and I'm getting the thickest line out of size 9 round brush. If you want a little bigger than this, you can use bigger brush. So more pressure, more thickness. That's the first step. Practice all these things and understand how much pressure you need for how much thickness. And once you have learned this, try creating leaf kind of pattern in a line. So I'm starting with fine line with no pressure. Then I'm applying pressure into it and releasing slowly to get something like this and I'm repeating the same thing again and again. So I'm applying pressure then releasing slowly applying pressure and then releasing slowly. So you will get something like this. So we are doing this in the same direction like in a straight line. We are coming back to the center and releasing our brush slowly to get thickest in the middle and thin at the end and at the beginning. So practice these things second. Now you need to start moving your brush towards different different direction. So as of now I'm starting from the middle line with no pressure then I'm applying pressure and moving my brush towards upward direction and then coming back to the center and releasing my brush slowly. And you need to repeat the same thing until you will get comfortable with these stroke and then you can try same thing for lower direction. So again I'm starting from the middle applying pressure moving my brush towards downward direction coming back to the center and releasing slowly. So you will get something like this. So these are the second batch that you need to practice and then you can create two stroke sleeves combining previous two lines together so one stroke towards upward direction coming back to the center and one stroke towards lower direction coming back to the center and then again the pressure you are applying creates the thickness of the leaf so more pressure more bigger leaf less pressure smaller leaf so something like this and practice all these strokes as much as you can so that you can paint number of leaves and flowers easily now if you go a little longer you will get little longer leaves so i'm doing exactly same thing but i'm dragging my brush little longer to get longer strokes into my leaf pattern and then you can repeat this and move your brush in a different different direction and angle so that you can create different perspective of longer leaves as well so these are the first step wherein we need to apply pressure to understand how much pressure we need to get how much thickness then you need to move your brush towards left right center to get different leaves in a different direction 
and then you can also create little longer leaves so something like this you can do and practice these things a lot now you can create smaller leaves having one stroke technique in a different different direction i'm just moving my brush towards left right and releasing slowly to get a fine line and creating a leaf kind of shape so something like this if you do you will get one stroke leaves if you combine little longer leaves together creating something like this so you will get longer leaves having one negative space in between you can create these longer leaves with one stroke technique as well or you can combine two strokes together to create something like this you can keep one stroke little thicker and another stroke little finer to get different perspective or you can create very thick leaf like this without having negative space like we have in the previous one you can create as many as leaves shape and size you needed so practice these things then you can do little different kind of leaf like having little bit serration in it so combine multiple strokes together and create a big leaf having multiple serration in it so i have combined almost so many strokes left and right coming back to the center creating one leaf having serration in it so you can do something like this you can keep very fine serration or you can keep deep serration creating all these strokes together and combining all these things together you can create some random leaf having random serration in it something like this now what next we can do is we can create a round kind of leaves so no pointed end at the tip so i am moving my brush towards upward direction applying pressure into it and then i'm coming back to the same center again to create a round kind of shape now you can do this in a different different direction left right and you can create flower as well you can create leaf as well you can keep the same stroke for little longer leaves so for the longer leaves also i'm starting from one point moving my brush towards upward direction applying pressure into it and coming back to the center creating a leaf kind of shape you can do the same thing for small small leaves as well or small small flowers as well if you apply very less pressure and releasing it slowly you will get small small leaves if you want serrated leaf at one side and smooth edge on the another then you can do something like this you can add the serration if you need you can change the direction of the stroke if you need and likewise number of things we can do when it comes to the leaves when it comes to the flower if you apply very fine pressure or no pressure you can get leaves like this or you can get leaves like palm leaf or you can get leaf like coconut leaf so multiple things you can do if you practice these things now let me create few leaves for you so that you can see i'm using same kind of techniques to paint varieties of leaves you can use all these leaves as a flower fillers while creating flower bouquet or uh, border pattern i have created multiple videos in the past with all these things so you can create varieties of design using this particular technique and i think all should need to understand this technique to make your life easier when it comes to the watercolor painting so i have created bigger leaf having negative space in between longer leaf in a different different direction leaf in a group having in a sequence to create something like this you can create smaller leaf uh, totally separated with each other or else you can create round kind of shape like 
coming back to the center again and something like this you can create all these things i have shown you in detail so practice all these things learn how we can paint all these things and once you will get comfortable with these things you can paint number of design easily without any hassle so now i'm creating one more leaf having deep serration in it but this is one single leaf so i'm attaching all these strokes together in the center and creating something like this now let me create small small leaf i can combine three leaves together to get some different pattern into leaf but i'm repeating the exactly same thing what i'm doing until now let's create few more design and then i think now you have understand what needs to be done right so without applying any pressure i'm creating tree branch kind of structure having multiple sub branches in it and you can create something like this without applying any pressure and remember you need only one brush to paint all this bigger and smaller leaf because of technique that we have understand but you can use smaller brush for very fine thing bigger brush for uh, bigger things but that thing is not needed when you are practicing this so whatever is available with you just grab that brush and start practicing all these things so i'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys please do practice all these things let me know if you guys have any kind of feedback for me and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video